Ms. Kiati, I'm Head of Joshi Advocates. Thank you very much for joining us in the 2024 first of our videos this year. Happy New Year. Now, in the next five minutes, we'll look at immigration health surcharge. What is it? The increase in the immigration health surcharge from 6th of February 2024, what the increase looks like. So in a minute, we'll go on to the gov.uk website and have a look at how to calculate the increase. And finally, um, what you can do if you can't pay uh, the Home Office application fee and immigration health surcharge fees, right? So one, immigration health surcharge is one of the costs related to the application. So the application fee, let's take an example, FLRFP or FLRM, application fee in the UK for an in-country application is 1,052 uh, plus uh, immigration health surcharge used to be 1560 1560 it has increased to 2587 so the immigration health surcharge now by itself is 2587 i'll show you what it looks like in a minute and then there's a biometric appointment fee unless the home office wants you to reuse the biometrics now that's what the immigration health surcharge is you need to make payment in order to then submit the application Right. Um, in a minute, we'll see what it looks like on gov.uk now, and then we'll discuss how uh, you what you can do in order to uh, still submit the application, uh, but then uh, not pay the immigration health surcharge. Right, so this is the gov.uk website, as you can see, and then here, pay the IHS. We're going to click here how much you need to pay, and here is the calculator. So for the benefit of this, we will just um, do a simple, straightforward application. Someone's in the UK applying, uh, say FLRFP as a partner or a parent. Yes, they're in the UK. No, not Jersey, Guernsey, not under 18. Their nationality was, let's just say Albania, visa route, let's say FLR, leave to remain. And then let's say FLRFP, we're going for 30 months, date of birth, random, one one nineteen sorry nineteen eighty calculate now you see it says uh, based on the information the immigration health surcharge is two five eight seven point five zero now based on that calculation um, what you could do if uh, you are financially compromised um, you may submit your fee waiver application uh, and show documents uh, that here are the bank statements from all bank accounts uh, for 12 months for everyone in my household uh, and it doesn't show any money left all the money coming in is going out and paying for things or the person is reliant on public funds or the applicant has no bank account statement uh, because they are not allowed to live in the UK or work in the UK. So then the fee waiver application will be submitted. When you have the fee waiver, the fee waiver, where the Home Office makes a decision to waive the fee, when the fee is waived, you would not pay the immigration uh, application fee of 1048. Uh, you would not then pay for immigration health surcharge either or the biometric appointment. Um, but then that depends on the fee waiver application and the assessment Home Office will take in respect of your financial circumstances. Now, I hope that's been helpful. As always, contact details below, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Take care.